Hello again, I uh, got another vintage clock radio to the collection. This is a uh, GE Fidelity One clock radio, late 70s, early 80s. Best performing and favorite radio so far to my collection. I actually use this one, it doesn't just sit on the shelf. I use it while I'm at work. Um, probably has some, I believe with V West Life, he has one. And it has a, I believe he said that it has some super radio circuitry in it. And the way this thing sounds and tunes, I would not be surprised. It is a fantastic piece of equipment. Uh, let's go into a little more detail here. Um, it's got a, uh, as you can see, a 5x7 speaker. Not a little, uh, not a little cheapy speaker. It's got a good one. Let's let it focus here. Um, let's go to the right. Um, blue fluorescent display. And it also has a rheostat to dim it. So you can dim it all the way down and bring it all the way up. Um, here's your controls. It has separate bass, treble, bass and treble controls to control the tone. Um, let's turn it on here. Lighted dial. I'm not going to leave it on long. I don't want the uh, copyright police on me. Has a magnificent sound to it. Uh, let's go to the top. It's got the... Uh, it's got the wooden case, still has the original label. I only paid $6 for this thing at the uh, thrift store. It says it is a model 7-4691 GE Fidelity 1 clock radio. Um, it's a uh, 500 milliwatt RMS audio output, which is in layman's terms half a watt. 5x7 oval speaker, separate bass treble controls. Excellent reception, they're not joking. This thing tunes magnificently. Quality clock radio features, blue fluorescent time display, wake to music or wake to music with delayed alarm. The way that works is the uh, radio will come on for nine minutes and then the buzzer will go off. One touch time alarm set system, it has hideaway controls. Of course, GE, they always bring good things to life. And there's the control set and underneath this panel here, are the controls for the clock. It has wake, time, sleep. The only thing with this particular one is the reverse time buttons don't work. Forward ones do, reverse doesn't. And this switch sticks a little bit, but for being almost 30 years old, I, I'm not really going to complain. Um, by far the best performing radio I have on the side here. It has the tuning knob, AM, FM, and FM, AF, FM, AFC auto frequency control. Nice feature for a clock radio. I don't know how much this thing cost when it was new. I bet you it was a pretty penny. On the rear of the unit, we have antenna terminals, so you can hook an external antenna to the unit. Again, great feature for a clock radio. Uh, there's the dimmer knob and the uh, the dimmer knob for the clock. Uh, I'm gonna flip it up here and see if I can get any more thing on the. Uh, a little information here. Model number 7-4691A. Is it? It's a rosewood finish on polystyrene. Let's take a look at the bottom here. Oh, I mean, it's got a couple battle scars, but not bad. Date code 1239. I do not know how to decipher that. It was built in Singapore. Uh, looks like uh, it's got a couple battle scars on it, but overall... Not bad for six bucks. Let's turn it around here for a last look. Uh, it's got a couple scratches. There's a tear in the top of the speaker, but and there's absolutely nothing on the left panel. But all in all, great unit. I love it. I have it on my desk. I use it every day. And um, I wish they just made equipment like this nowadays because this thing is phenomenal. It's the best radio I have in my collection. And uh, I hope, uh, hope everybody enjoyed this video of the... General Electric Fidelity One Clock Radio. Thank you and have a great day.